So this is just a brief tutorial on how you would get your character in Maya to interact with a simple prop. So say you have a character that wants to pick up an object from the floor, like a ball, or if he needs to push a block, then this is how we're going to do it. So as you can see, I've got the bucket character already in the scene, and he's just bending down, ready to pick up an item but we've not yet created anything in the scene so first of all let's create a sphere which will be our ball for our character to um, pick up from the floor so you can see we're in the polygons menu and we can go to create polygon primitives and sphere and just click on that and I'm just going to move this into position and it's a bit big so we'll just hit the R key scale that down uh, let's just get that in position. So I'll just go make sure that's on the ground. Further down. There we are. And that looks okay. So that ball is on the ground in the, roughly the right place for our character to pick it up. So what we now need to do is create another sphere for our character to actually pick up from the floor. So what we will do is you can go to edit and duplicate and you can see from the menu that the keyboard shortcut is control D. So if I click on that, what you now have are two spheres, but they're sat in the same position so you can't actually see. If I move that one away you can now see that there are two. So with that one that's still selected that we've just duplicated, what we need to do is parent it to this wrist controller. So what that will mean is it will follow wherever this wrist goes. So if I keep that selected, as I say, and then holding down the shift key, click with the left mouse button on that right wrist controller, which you can see has now appeared in the channel box. If you go to edit, and again parent, that allows you to see the keyboard shortcut is P. And what has now happened is that new sphere, the duplicated sphere, is parented to that wrist controller. So as the character bends up, that ball goes with the character. So all we now need to do is animate the visibility of those spheres. So if I just go to frame 25, which moves this second sphere out of the way, that allows us to select the original sphere. So what we want to do is on frame 1, we want to animate that visibility. So I'm going to hit an S, which sets a keyframe. And on frame 2, we want to hide that key that visibility so I'm going to click on that on the channel box and type in off and then you can see on frame one it's on and frame two it is off now what we need to do is the reverse so for the other sphere that is already in the character's hand we need to hide it for frame one so visibility off and on frame 2, I need to make it appear. In fact, on the first frame, I need to hit S. So on frame 2, to make it appear, we then type in ON in the channel box here. So then we have sneakily, with two balls, made it look as if the character is picking it up off the floor. So that's how you do it in Maya. You have two objects, one is hidden, and you switch one on and the other one off on the frame where you want to swap the objects over. In the next video we'll have a look at how to interact with a block, so say you want to push something.